to paint a copper patina effect wall, you'll need Craig & Rose Artisan Copper Effect Paint Craig & Rose Artisan Copper Patina Effect Solution A dust sheet A paintbrush A sponge Quality masking tape A plastic paint tub A medium nap roller and roller tray Gloves Mask Goggles Before you begin, carefully read the paint usage instructions. The surface that you want to paint must be clean, dry and free from dust and grease. Mask off anywhere you don't want the paint to touch and cover floors and furniture with dust sheets. Stir the paint with a paint stirrer. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the can and use a scooping motion to spread the paint particles evenly. You might want to practice with the paint on a small board first. Apply the first coat using a roller until the wall is fully covered. Apply the second coat in small sections with a roller. You can apply the copper patina effect solution once the copper effect paint is dry, which usually takes at least two hours. However, you must do this before the paint has been on the surface for 12 hours. To apply the copper patina effect solution, wear gloves and goggles and pour the solution into a separate tub. You can create different effects depending on how you apply the copper patina effect solution. You can use a sponge or brush or carefully drip the solution over the surface. You can use a second coat of copper patina to fill in any gaps you don't want.